New this morning, we're getting some advice from a local pediatrician about a pesky viral skin infection common in kids, and some Bay Area parents tell us they think their kids are getting it from their face masks. Our Larissa Scott explains what you can do if you think your kid has it. Molluscum. It's a viral infection doctors say is very difficult to get rid of, and some parents say they're worried face masks are making it worse for their kids. It's a type of it's a type of virus that uh, kind of causes similar to a wart in children. It can happen in adults as well. It's just very common in children. Experts tell us molluscum typically looks a little bit pearly or like a raised area, sometimes resembling a rash. Doctors say they come up in small groups, but it's very common to have it spread all over the body. The virus tends to stick around for a long time, and experts say it can be very frustrating for kids and their parents. Dr. Meredith Plant at USF says she hasn't seen a recent increase in cases, but says it is something that doctors see often. And some parents tell us they think their kids are getting it from their masks. That's not the most common way molluscum spreads, but Plant says it is possible. Here's what you can do if you think your child may have it. Tell them not to touch it. Cover it up with a bandage, especially if it's on their face. Use that bandage as a barrier between the virus and the mask. And make sure to wash your child's face mask often. I found that for my house we usually have to wash the masks about once a day um, just kids are kids they talk they sneeze they wipe their nose in their mask so keeping it clean in general it will help lots of things and it can also help maybe reduce some of those kind of virus transmission experts say it's also important that you take your child to their pediatrician to see if there are a few other treatments they can try reporting from Tampa Larissa Scott ABC Action News